Even back on the proven ground here tonight, and even dating to the Ultimate Fighter back in 2015, you got the sense pretty early on that we were looking at somebody special who was able to cap over the UFC championship. He's back on the losing team. He has this undying belief in himself. He believes that the hard work, all the results will show, and they have a far through spot. From the pace and pressure that he put on Los Angeles to the pace and pressure he put on Woodley, he shows now and in those fights why he's one of the best fighters in the welterweight division. And he's really coming into his own when it comes to his striking. Certainly he's had a lot of standard influences in his ear. Henry Goff, of course, Greg Jones on the wrestling side. Or Usman, as he put it way back in the day, it's a real problem. Welterweight Championship fight. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. third man in the octagon tonight. All right, early round action here. Kamaru Usman's wrestling is next level. His MMA wrestling, super functional. But he believes that the jab is going to be the key here tonight. Obviously, he has gone a great lengths to develop that under Trevor Whitman. And he felt like he might actually be able to win this fight without securing a single takedown. We shall see. And now the hook in the clinch by Kiesa. Fighters engaging in the clinch here early. Oh, the judo chops on full display. Beautiful hip toss to take him down. Ronda Rousey did this for a long time, loading people up in those high amplitude throws. This young man is very well versed in this position, and he has a lot of tricks to get you to put yourself exactly where he needs you. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Usman's looking to pass out of the half guard here and get that side control, but he is denied by the opposition. Striking pretty well from the bottom here. Oh, 
Now he's going full mount. Oh, good ground and pound here. Work to get back in the guard now. Move those hits. Another ground and pound strike lands. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. Work. I'll stand it up. It's work. Get on that side. Get on the side. Don't let him keep you flat. Oh, he's got to be careful there. Yep. Pretty good head movement. He's avoiding a lot of these ground strikes. Big ground and pound. That's a heck of a strike to land from bottom position. Usman's looking to pass out of the half guard here, maybe looking for side control. He's denied. There it is. Now he's going to mount. All right, so the big storyline in this one, the Nigerian nightmare, Kamar Usman, the wrestling's on point, and the ground and pound going on as well. You know, these skills are what allowed for Kamaru Usman to become the number one pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the world. He is a tremendous wrestler, incredibly strong, and you are seeing all that happen in the octagon right now. He is on point. Great job finding his shots from the top position. And another one. Another strike from the top lands for him. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. All right, so good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Usman. Another ground and pound strike gets home. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensively. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. He's setting up a beautiful submission. Oh, real good submission attempt now. That one looks tight. Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and it showed in that defense. 30 seconds now to go in the opening round. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move. You got to shrimp. You got to get off on a hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. Usman's in half guard now. Not there yet, but might get the submission here shortly. Final seconds around one. Oh, outstanding combination of ground and pound punches here by Usman. Oh, so saved by the bell. He was getting grounded and pounded something fierce there near the end of the round. You see, it's going to take him a good chunk of these 60 seconds between right, rounds right. just to get back to his feet. Relax. So a big moment here at the end of the round. We'll see if he can recover in time to make the walk here for this next round. All right, so for one fighter, the round mercifully comes to an end as we look back at some of the action. What a display of ground and pound. It's his calling card. It's exactly what he's known for. He's known as a brutal ground and pound fighter, and he showed you just then why he's known as that in the MMA sphere. He's the guy that if he gets you down, he will dominate you with positioning and brutal, nasty ground and pound. All right, round two. Yes, it gets tattooed by that straight punch. Over and over, this guy's getting hit right in his face. Flips to avoid the right. Gets to the single collar tie. Busy in the clinch. Lands that much. Oh, huge strike lands there. And somehow his opponent's chin held up. 
His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Usman. Changing the position. Usman, ground and pound from half guard now. Let's see if he can do some damage. Good, solid strike on the ground. Oh, in good position to rip off a Kimura here. Oh, that Kimura looks tight. Wow, somehow, some way he gets the arm out. It looked like he was done, John, but he was able to stay comfortable, stay patient, and now he finds himself safe. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Chiesa. All right, full guard now, DC. The fighter on top needs to be trying to gain posture to move. All right, setting up for an on bar now. Oh, my goodness, I think he might have it. He's got it. He's got it. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Usman's in half guard. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, Block. he gets denied. Block! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. And very effective with the ground and pound. Kies is now dealing with a cheek cut. Ground and pound keeps coming. Good movement to avoid that damage coming down. All these actions, though, these big actions got to wear on the gas tank of both guys. In the half guard. Get the out here. Under two Good minutes work. now to go in round two. Use your elbows! Use your elbows! Yes, smart adjustment, yep. Really maximizing his shots here on the ground. Man, he's killing it on the ground. Another strike gets through. Outstanding pressure from top position here by Usman. He's in a dominant position. Look at him attacking the wrist. Oh, he's got the Kimura locked in. No, oh, he's out. The fight's going to continue. Oh, my goodness. I thought it was over. I thought this fight was over. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. In the half guard. Posture and elbow, posture and elbow. Kies's eye now closing up. 30 seconds to go in round two. Not being just offensive, but offensive off of his back. Great punch lands. Kiesa ground and pound from half guard now. Oh, good defense, yes. Right. Ten minutes stop, stop, in the books. Stop, stop. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. All right, back to the stool, and he is officially swole, and I'm not talking about muscles. He is swollen up top. I mean, he looks bad. 
is because he was too stationary. He was on the receiving end of too many big shots. He was beat up. He was battered. He was bruised. And look at all the swelling. It shows that he has taken far too many. Ready to fight. Ready. Go. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. I shot that by the champ. Good job by the defense to prevent that shot from getting through. This man's doing a really good job with his jab right now. He's got that single collar tie. Oh, oh he's in a world of trouble now. There you go. Making all these shots count. Now inside the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Usman's in half court. Well, no surprise to see him rinse and repeat as he continues to target that swelling upstairs. Targeting that swollen eye getting back after him, making him work, and recognizing that, hey, this is my path. It's working, I'm gonna stay on. All right, working inside the closed guard now. He's gotta start throwing now. Well, he's worked very hard on this part of his game, and these ground strikes are really starting to take their toll. Kies is looking to go from the full to the half guard here, opponent not having. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Kies is in half court. Fighter trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Ooh, this could be it. That thing is tight. That arm triangle is deep. Oh, let's get submitted. Oh, the somehow, some way really he got out. These guys are back and forth, but the submission defense wins this transition. All right, side control now. Oh, right into mount. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Us. Man, another one lands. He's trying to pound his opponent's head through the canvas. Two minutes now to go. Oh, getting leaky now. The hard ground and pound has opened up a cut. Usman's back in north-south. Great shot from the top position. Oh, and another punch on the ground gets through. May need some defense here. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Every time he lands, the cut gets worse. What a great job recognizing his easiest path to victory. All right, so there it is again. He's been very efficient with his ground and pound striking game time. And now they're starting to pile. He's starting to pile them together. Punch after punch are starting to land from the top position. Oh, we got blood now, folks. Doctor might need to step in shortly. We got a huge situation here. This is where he wants to be. He Bottom needs fighter to move. better move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big hard damage. Elbows, hard elbows. Great job landing from the top position. Another strike gets through from the top position. All right, DC, half guard position here. You've done a lot of good work in this spot in your career. Oh, man, I love this position. And you see this fighter today loves it too. It is the most secure position in fighting. 
You get an underhook on one side, you keep a half guard on the other, and then you just go to work. It's the safest position, especially for a wrestler. He passes to half guard. Great grounded palm by this man. Another grounded palm strike lands for this man. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship rounds. All right, there's the end of the round, and hopefully not the end of the fight. Right, take a seat, bro. He doesn't look as handsome as he did when he walked out. That is a severe gash on his face. We knew this was going to be like this. We knew we were going to have a war. All right, back to the stools we go, and it's starting to look like a second mouth on his cheek. <laughs> yeah, it looks terrible. I mean, the guy is getting hit with big shots, one big enough to open up a nasty cut on his cheek. While it's in a better spot, it still is very difficult to deal with. Like, if he absorbs another strike on that cheek, he might actually be able to eat through that cut <laughs> on his cheek. I'm Ready just saying. Fight. He's got a big mouth. <laughs> <laughs> we have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. Oh, the master of the transition. Nice scramble. All right, here we go. Fourth round of a possible five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the heart, and we'll see who has the end. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the octagon. Kies's eye is essentially swollen shut at this point in time, and I'm not sure there's any end swell in the building that's going to open that eye back up. They might stop this fight. Little judo throw there to take him down. High praise, I would think, from the Olympian DC. Nicely done. I mean, it was beautiful. The way that he stepped across, got his hips in and started driving into his opponent. What a phenomenal technique. Great position. Great knowledge of knowing how to manipulate someone's body. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You got to figure out a way to get back to your feet. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it. And you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Kiesa's body getting bruised up on that right side now. Don't want to take too many more shots to that midsection. Oh, you got to love the ground and pound strikes here. Oh, staying busy from top position. He lands another ground strike there. Relentless pressure from the top by Usman. All right, so not enough action there on the ground. The referee brings the fight back to the feet, and we are back underway. Just over three minutes to go. All right, referee is going to step in here and likely call on the doctor to check out that swelling around the eye. Defensively, he has had a very hard time tonight. Well, it has gotten worse because the moment the swelling started, his spirit tells him to keep going forward, but he's getting pieced up. All right, we'll see if the doctor allows the fight to continue. It looks as though he will. Crowd loves it when the doctor lets the fight continue, don't I, they? I, I love it. I love it when he lets it continue, especially when you have a fight that has been as fun as this one to this point. All right, well, this fighter is bullish in his desire to continue, and the doctor is going to afford him that opportunity. And a huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Kiesa's cheek is just pouring blood all over his face, all over the canvas. That gash is terrible. So bad, we might even get a stoppage here. We'll see. Oh, that's going to soften him up. Massive knee to the body. That goes in and secures the takedown. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. Oh, Kimura attack. Yup. Locked him over Kimura. Now, now he's got to get his knees above the head, separate the arm from the body, and then just turn to try to get an attack. Oh, he's out of danger. Great submission defense. He's able to take his arm out and stay safe. All right, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. All right, he remains in pursuit of the submission, but the defense continues to hold up. I'm not sure he's going to be able to find a finish here. In MMA today, guys are so well-rounded. They're so gifted. It's hard to just lock up a submission, but he continues to try. And in those efforts, he has given himself a chance to win this fight. I've never been submitted. You never have? Nope. Lucky guy. I have. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, 
Bushman ground and pound from half court. Great defense by this fighter. Another blow to that swollen area. He's in a lot of trouble now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Oh, heavy shots continue to rain down. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Side control now. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Usman. 30 seconds left. 30 seconds left in the round. Oh, and there's another ground strike for good measure. Full side control now. Now he's going full mount. Back mount now. Man, are these guys bringing it tonight as expected. Kiesa, though, is wearing it. Good work from the top here, nah, guys. Nah. 20 minutes Good in the stop. can, five to go. All right, back to the stools now, and he is no longer the handsome man we once knew. That gash is getting serious. Well, that was a damaging five minutes. We'll see how he can recover over this 60 seconds. We'll show you some replays now from that previous round. He was on the receiving end of some big blows, and he wasn't moving his head well. His head was on the center line. He was a stationary target, and his opponent opened up a nasty cut on him. He has got to move his head to limit the damage that he's taking. You ready to fight? Ready. Yeah. Fifth and final round, fourth cover. Big, straight left. Usman's strike attempt there is blocked. The biggest shot that he's landed all night. A massive uppercut lane. He passes the half. All right, close guard now. And there you go, again, half guard. Usman ground and pound from half guard. He is making these shots count. Oh, the damage just continues to be inflicted. And with respect to the athletes, if this was a movie, I might just walk out. I don't need to see it anymore. I mean, I just don't need to see it. it, it it's to a point now where it's getting a bit uncomfortable. You have a fighter who's clearly outmatched, and his corner will not save him. This is crazy. That was a slick transition. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Usman. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Going to try to take his opponents back here, and he does. In the half guard. Scramble and go! Scramble and go! Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Kamaru Rus. He's very accurate. And he's going Kimura now. Oh, he's got the Kimura position locked in now. You got to be kidding me. How did he get out? He just stayed calm. He was able to withstand the fire, and now he finds himself out and safe. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Usman. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. There it is. Now he's going to mount. What he has to do here is just try to stay relaxed. Big explosive actions, panicky actions, are what gets you submitted a lot of times. 
All right, so the head damage continues to land, and at this point, man, gotta think the ringside physician is even getting Nancy to check it out. Oh, yeah. You could tell that they want to check it out. But hats off to his opponent, putting together a great game plan for staying on that face, making sure that when he saw the swelling start, he continued to drive him down that path to where he is right now, where he's almost un unrecognizable. Look at that. Recognize he was about to lose position. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment, yep. All right, so he can't get it here again. Good awareness by the defensive fighter. 90 seconds now to go in this one. By close guard now. You gotta be careful though, he's got a lot of submissions off his back. Well, this is a tough fighter to buck off. Very good pressure and work here by Chiesa though. Great work here from the bottom fighter. Usman's in half guard now. All right, trying to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Oh, he's going for a choke here. This could be tough. That guillotine is tight. Oh, he's out. Oh, he got out. He did a great job. He attacked a lot. He got pressure forward and off to the side. Rolled to his back to release that pressure. Usman's right back to the full mount here. Nice transition. Usman grounded pound from half guard now. Let's see if he can do some damage. Under 20 seconds now to go. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Usman. These ground strikes really started to add up. There's another one. So there it is, the final horn, a lifetime of work, all building to this moment. And the underdog challenger comes up large with a striking game tonight. He's going to be the new champ. I mean, he came up big in a massive spot. He was the underdog. He wasn't supposed to get this done. He relied on what got him here, the striking, to take the title from the long-reigning champion. All right, the official decision is in. It resides with the venerable Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest, 50-45. Play the winner by unanimous decision, and new undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Kamaru! All right, so judges' scorecards are needed. They are rendered, and they go to Kamaru Usman, your winner tonight by decision. I thought he fought pretty well tonight. Well, I mean, we knew when his decision was going to be ready, it was going to be Usman. He fought well. He did everything he needed to do in order to earn this victory. Congratulations to the Nigerian Nightmare and his entire team. And, of course, most of his UFC fights have been of the championship variety, and this sets him up for a huge opportunity later this year. Congrats to a good man right there, Kamaru Usman.